Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Nantucket in part 8 of our series looking at this new whaling strategy game that follows the conclusion of the novel Moby Dick, puts you in the shoes of the sole survivor of that novel, and has you attempt to gain revenge against that white whale, the whale that obliterated the Pequot and all of your crewmates. Uh, in today's episode, we are continuing for this hunt of this magical spear, well I don't know if it's not really magical, but of this spear uh, that uh, supposedly is great and powerful and we can use to take down Moby Dick. But we're in the midst of trying to find out where the heck it is. And so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to my live streamy self and uh, join back in with uh, the stream that had been recorded just the other day. Hope you guys enjoy, and as always, leave your thoughts below. Approaching the ship with their war canoes. Let's try and get closer and shoot the savages. Gives us $100 plus one prestige, 70% chance our attack is unsuccessful, or we can lower the whaleboats. Let's try and shoot them. Your war, the war canoes retreat. We can hear the other ship's crew cheering us. Huzzah! One prestige and $100. All right. So we just uh, accomplished the Zykaran's destiny. And now we are stopping in to see the Emperor of Brazil. You stop in... Fortaleza, a growing Brazilian coastal city, hoping to find a way to get in contact with the Emperor. Metcalf told you that Miguel, a cousin, close friend of the Emperor, lives there and is a passionate hunter. You hope to use him as a bridge to Pedro the uh, First. Visit the closest barrack and ask about Miguel. Since you're unsure of where to find him, you visit the barracks and ask for an official meeting with the Emperor's cousin. You speak with the barracks commanding officer, but when you explain the situation to him, he seems disinterested in introducing you to Miguel. He tells you that it would be impossible to let a foreigner get so close to a member of the royal family. I've got enough grog, I can find him. I'm no foreigner, I'm a renowned captain. Well, no, I'm not apparently, I don't have enough prestige. Or, uh, I can introduce you to many U.S. presidents. In other words, give him gold. I will do that. Give him 300 gold. The officer looks at you silently for a moment, then offers his hand. You have a deal. The officer arranges the meeting inside the barracks in order to have everything under control. Miguel arrives escorted by two guards. He has long hair and a beard and a long scarf on his tanned face. If he was not guarded in such fine er, he was not garbed in such fine raiments, you would have confused him with one of the many adventurers you have met in life. Looking for the spear of Karak the second. Okay. Um, Miguel explains that he lost the spear while hunting a dangerous whale they call O Inquadu, and he thinks the spear may still be stuck in its be in the beast. You thank him and leave for Tenzula, ready to do what your best to get the spear. So now we're gonna have to. What is this like? The spear of uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's it's basically like the um, King Arthur's sword, except a spear. The spear of destiny. All right, so we're gonna go here which I think is where I'm supposed to go. Yep, the quest. So we'll see how we do here. It's going to be a tough fight here with my small ship and small crew. Bin hoy! All right, well, I'm assuming this is going to be the uh, journal entry here. We're going to see what we're going to be fighting. I hope it's nothing too substantial. But THG, my character, has to be there. We're also going to make sure that our medic is there and then our level 40 Hunter is going to be there. That'll it'll help a lot to have him in on this, I think. Oh, wow. A right whale. Legendary. 83 hit points. He's gold. There's gold in there in that hills. All right. Great. First aid that I can't use yet. Oh, my God. He almost just killed us on his first throw. Well, good to know that literally nothing is... No! Oh my god. Retreat! I can't retreat. No, we're all going to die. Holy crap, that whale is hard to kill. It won't let me retreat. Well, quite clearly we're going to die. Holy crap, that thing's powerful. All right, I think I need a bigger boat. The the captain is down. Everything seems to... Well, everybody's dead. All right. We're going to load... We're going to... Wow! 
So that's why you need three boats with multiple crews. <laughs> oh boy. That was literally, like, I got, that, ugh. That was the equivalent of getting nuked. Like, basically, I just got nuked. Alright, we'll just go through this whole scene again real quick. Tail away. Alright, so, let's not do that. Say we did. And let's go to Honolulu to correct, collect our reward. And maybe we'll run afoul of the other ship we're looking for. Because I'm not going back to this thing until I've got a, uh, a bigger boat. Mm, no. I don't want to get dysentery. You really want to poop yourself to death? All right. Wow, we're way ahead of schedule. Look at how well we're we're nine days ahead of schedule right now. The winds are with us. Ten days ahead of schedule. The winds are really with us. We're not even following the trade winds. I couldn't, you know, I probably should have gone this way to try and follow the trade winds, but we're just taking the most direct route. So far, we are making good time. <laughs> Thanks, you gives them. Uh, that's the ship I was looking for. And there goes our scientist. So we just lost another crew member killed. Awesome. No one's on the masthead. We're still 30 days away. I need a new crew member. I would hunt the blue whale if I had time. Yes. Yeah, clearly. Uh, lower the whale boats. We're down a crew member, but I suppose we can still hunt them if we can spot them. Alright, auto assign. Everybody needs to be in on this thing. So we've got two whales, a newborn, and an adult blue... Wow, that is a powerful blue whale. And instantly I'm stunned. Just great. Well, this fight's off to a good start. Right. You're gonna change your, your role over to something else. Really? We still haven't hit anything? some ah I need some oh, two of my three crew members are can you roll something now everybody's stunned whole damn crew wow literally can't roll a single damn thing this fight sucks Hey, a protective maneuver. Uh, gives immunity to a character for this round. Alright, I guess we'll give immunity to me. Immunity, and he attacked me anyway, that's awesome. Nice! Take that, whales. Wasting your attack on... on me. <laughs> Emergency kit. Plus seven to everybody. I'm gonna take the 18 strike. Knock one of these guys out. And I'm okay. You attacked the one person that I was more okay if you attacked. Now he just dove. Hey, first aid. There you go. Mm. Everybody gets some HP from that. Nice. And you keep attacking the individual in my crew that I really don't care about. It's bad to say I don't care about him, but I just don't. All right, a strike of 18. Brings the blue whale down to size a bit, although now he's going to get stunned. I'm stunned too. Ugh, a random crew member gets stunned. Sunny Mirage. Protective maneuver. Protect Glenn. Probably should have protected himself. Oh no, 28. Oh, lame. 
he just healed himself. Good to know that the uh, enemy can do that. Now he just dove. So now we're going to switch back over to science. See if we can... There we can go. So Glenn is stunned. Hopefully he doesn't try and heal himself again. We're going to switch our character back over to fighting. Shouldn't this have given him uh, something to do? Make him immune, I guess. Really hope he doesn't... Uh, there you go. Waste the attack on someone you can't hurt. And at least the random crew member who was stunned is the one who's not actually fighting. Nice. 18 strike. We've almost got him! We've almost got him! Apparent no! <laughs> Damn you, whale. Healing yourself. stunned. Just brilliant. Nothing. Nothing! At least he didn't attack us. Alright. Almost. Oh, he's dove and we can't... Uh. At least we'll make the injured one immune. We can attack my character and I'll be stunned, I guess. Come on, we need that 18 hit point from you, Glenn. There you go, we got him! We got him! I just imagine the whale in the water being like, Medic! And another whale coming up and patching him up. Alright, 40 blubber, we can't even, or can actually we can load that all, and a lot of food. Woo! And the fact that the crew member of ours who died was an orphan means that we get all of his share. Huh. Alright. That's... Get back into port. What's this? Te uh, technology, whatever. Um, why is it going to take us 20 days to move, like, two feet? Oh, there you go. Six days. No, we don't have time. We're going to keep sailing. We're not going to hunt a whale. We have literally nothing in us. Old sea dog. All right. Enter the harbor. Nice. $450 more for me. I feel like the blubber is kind of cheap here in uh, Honolulu. Um, we need to add a new crew member. We're going to go with a technology guy. We'll go with a level 5. Okay. And we'll go ahead and sell. Buy some more water. Sell some of our food. Some more grog and wood. Right, so we got $7,500. Hmm. So we can actually purchase a cannon here. That's cool. Brigantine Clipper. We can't. We can't get anything. Else. Hmm. Clipper bark. All right. So can't do that. Schooner. I don't think we can get a schooner yet. Yeah, I don't think... I don't know how we're going to do this. I'm not really sure. But we can research powder, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we're going to research powder. New news, the Ashantis defeat British forces on the Gold Coast, killing the British governor. The French painter, whoever, dies at 32 of tubercular infection, and after much controversy, Faraday is elected as a member of the Royal Society. Meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and get our reward of $200 and one prestige, and we're not going to accept the goods delivering goods to Nantucket. Okay, so we've got our new crew member. We're going to go ahead and hunt some more blue whales. Yeah, our um, 
our new crew members, their experience certainly reduces how much we get now. That's for sure. Alright, let's expand this real quick. So he's on the lookout. Alright. Everybody is where they should be. Ah. Hunt whales. Whale ho! That a ship blows. Alright. No. I'm going to go with the medic. Or I'm going to go with the hunter, myself, and the medic. Alright. Oh my god. Another adult blue whale. Just what I didn't want to fight. Alright. Roll. Strike. Alright, so this one started off better. We instantly cut the enemy down to size. I hate calling a whale an enemy. It's so dumb. It's like, yeah, you used first aid even though you weren't hurt. And Glenn is stuck. Just like that. Alright. Roll your dice. There you go. See who he attacks. Oh, he attacks me. Now I'm stunned. But Glenn will be unstunned. What? Col Duh. Well, that was a wasted round. And now he's healing himself. <laughs> Whales healing themselves. That's pretty funny. Alright, we're gonna heal you up to full strength. You're gonna instantly lose that strength right back. All right. And apparently the whale is stunned. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Because he's stunned, we'll attack him. He can't hurt us. All right, so 28 HP knocked out of the whale the last two rounds. We can survive two more hits ourselves. A lot of it depends where he, uh... Ooh, we fastened him, which I think causes bleeding damage. So we've got him, I think. As long as we don't die. Oh no, he broke the fastening. Or maybe not. Still suffering damage from it. Oh god. Random crew member gets a state stun. No, don't stun. No! If he attacks me, I'm dead. And he gets his health back. Alright, I need that first aid. Keep me alive. Just barely. And now I'm stunned again. But as long as we keep having that bleeding damage on him, it'll keep things in in uh, order, maybe. All right, the whale is stunned. We just get, like, something to finish him off? Like, Glenn, could you do something? All right. Still, he's stunned again. All right, let's see if we can do some more damage. He's almost dead, but now I, I just know he's going to heal himself or something. He was down to two hit points at one point. Granted, my character was down to one. If you go, friend. And nothing. Nothing. I roll and get nothing, and he can heal himself. Uh. Back to back nothings. Oh my, okay. I was, I was about to be dead there. And I'm stunned again. But hey, he's still fastened, so he's still bleeding. Finally! Man, these larger whales can really turn into a war of attrition. Alright, 40 more lubba. Or blubber. We really need to have a better boat so we can, uh... Really? Can't do anything more? I don't need all that water.
Food is much more valuable than water. We can get back to port pretty darn quick. So we'll get that food and then we'll go ahead and sell it. Nice little morale boost for everybody. We'll get ourselves There's back into port here. And a victory. Another $400 for us. You can see the crew lay has definitely increased pretty substantially, though. We're not getting quite as wealthy off of our uh, um, ventures as we used to. Alright, that's all I'm going to do. Where are we at right now with... Peruvian Congress named Simon Boulevard, director of, uh, a dictator of Peru, to reorganize the state. And, okay. Mm. I need a bigger boat. Let's see, where are we at right now? Technology. Um, research April 19th. So we're still waiting for April 19th. It is February, so we're going to stick around here till February. Okay. So we're just gonna keep fishing for the blue whales. Hopefully we don't run into two adults. That would be kind of disastrous. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's try it this way. Let's try everybody but me. Young and a newborn. Okay, so this fight should be less severe, hopefully. Protect a maneuver. We'll go ahead and protect our um, hunter, if you will. And you can see the enemy attacked him and uh, didn't lose any health. So that was a, a wise decision, I think, for that round anyway. Now we can strike, knock one of the blue whales out just got the one to deal with. The surviving one dove. Random crew member gets state stunned. A medic, which is fine. See if we can do like a clumsy strike. Oh, okay. But we can't do anything. Lovely. He's dove below the water. So we cannot do anything against you. Alright, roll again can't do the fire strike, I guess, because we don't have that uh, technology, I suppose. There we go. Strike of 18. All right, so you can switch your fire to Russell. That gives Kelpio more time. Heal himself. I think he's gonna heal himself. I think the whale up here. Nope, he's gonna die. I wonder if only the adult can heal himself. I do realize I need to develop the right tech to unlock the ship. The problem is I can't develop every technology with the current ship I have. Oh. Really, our only effective hunter just got stunned. Maybe Russell will roll something. Nope. So we'll get Glenn back up to full health. And then keep stunning our our only effective hunter right now. And then dive. Well, at least he can't be hurt this round. Maybe we'll get some first aid. Alright, so he can't do anything this round. He's immersed. He dove. And maybe we'll finish him next round. Man, this is dragging. He's at one health. Come on. Stop diving and hiding. Just let me finish you off. What I don't understand is if he's immersed and he's down. Like, why can he still strike us with his fin or something? Oh, God. Everybody's stunned. Maybe the doc. Come on, doctor. Throw a good old. Oh, there you go, doctor. The doctor finished him off with his harpoon. Ow. Good old Stephen Martin. All right, thirty blubber. Uh, yeah, this does get a little repetitive over time. All right, so I'm really just trying to kill time. 
until... All right, so we're up to $8,000. I'm really just trying to kill time till this uh, cannon thing here researches. It says April 19th. It's currently February. So I don't know what we're going to do till then. Was there a mission like where we can go take something somewhere? Deliver goods to Peterhead? That's a long ways away. And we don't have big enough stores to do it. We're also not in high enough level. So no, there's nothing we can do here. I guess we're just going to sail the seas. I don't really feel like hunting any more of those whales at the moment. I'm sure PETA will bash the game, John. Alright, has a price been announced for Nantucket yet? I'm not aware of one, but I'm not I'm not sure. I haven't been following the pricing. Alright, we need to go to Nantucket to get a reward for that, and we need to go to Peter had to get a reward for that. I suppose we will go to just go to Nantucket. I guess we might as well, you know, try and pick up a whale along the way. We're gonna go ahead and go with my character, because he can do a pretty good job of doctoring people up. Alright. So, it's an adult, but it's just one of them. So, hopefully we're gonna strike him, do, do a good job of it. Oh no, he's going right for the doctor. Well, that'll make things interesting. I think he's going to dive. Yep, there he goes. Can't do anything. But I can still get hurt. Alright. He's going to keep going for me. Keep stunning me. It'd be real great if my doctor could be a hero this time around. Oh no! He's gonna dive, I'm guessing. Or heal himself, one or the other. Come on, doctor, do something. <sighs> Alright, now he's gonna dive, because that card is on him, so I'm assuming he's going to dive. Yep. Oh no, he's gonna heal himself. He's back to full strength. Oh, I meant to heal everybody. Alright. At least he went for the uh, highest hit point guy, so we should be able to stand in here a little bit longer, hopefully. I'm assuming he's about to heal himself. It'd be great if we could, you know counter that somewhat, but it doesn't look like it. Nope, he's gonna die. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You never know. Sometimes it shows you what the card is, sometimes it doesn't. And our medic just got stunned. Great. Well, he dove, so I'm gonna have my guy focus on healing and do nothing. And then he can't do the strike because he's diving. And now I'm taking damage, and now I'm stunned. And now he's diving again. But at least I know I won't get hurt this round. He, this one really likes to... Really likes to dive. Now he's probably going to heal himself, would be my guess. Yep, there you go. Full strength. He's back to full. But at least I can have everybody try and... attack him this round. It'd be great if Glenn could land one of his 18s. Nope. Uh. Character stunned. Another fire. Oh boy. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Well, that's going to do it for episode number eight, looking at Nantucket, a new strategy game out, which puts you in the shoes of the 19th century, not the shoes, I guess, but in the era of the 19th century during the sort of 
a uh, high tide of whaling in the United States. It's a little bit before that, but anyway, it comes after the conclusion of the mo- of the novel Moby Dick. And again, as I've already said, probably eight times now, uh, you are the sole survivor of the whaling vessel, the Pequot. Uh, in this video, we <laughs> met with great disaster trying to attack that absolutely elite whale with that spear in it that we'll probably have to come back to at a later time. And now we're really just trying to earn a little bit more money so we can buy ourselves a better boat. But that will be a topic for another episode. I hope you guys are continuing to enjoy this series. And as always, uh, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm out.